Church of San Juan. Church of San Juan. Let's split up. I'll look for signs of Lopez. We'll ask around, see what we can find out. My friend Sara's an archaeologist. She works near here. You want to go see if she knows anything about your riddle? That would be great. The stone faces have always been Sara's obsession. Most people come here looking for treasure, but not Sara. She just wants answers. Have you been friends a long time? Since we were kids. She was the nerd, I was always skipping school. And Abby, can you help me with this? It's broken. Hold on. Are you that Lara? Croft? I am. I recognize you from your picture. What's your interest with this place? I'm following a riddle. The heart of the serpent is in the cup near the many stone faces. The stone faces. That's why I'm here too. I don't want to step on your toes. It's the serpent in the cup I'm really looking for. Well, I can tell you the faces have been here for at least 400 years. According to documents in the library, they keep watch. Legend has it, they're guarding a secret crypt. A crypt? We've never been able to find it. As you can imagine, that's what drives the treasure hunters crazy. But if the infamous Lara Croft is as clever as they say she is, well, if you were to find it, you might be doing me a favor. You think I should start at the library? Yes, it's over by the cemetery. It's one of the oldest buildings here. Make sure you credit me if you find anything. Thank you. I will. Laura, you find anything yet? Abby's friend mentioned a crypt somewhere around the library. I'll meet you there. So there's a crypt around here somewhere? A secret crypt. Why secret? If Lopez is involved, there's bound to be a trick. That's a solid theory. What about you? Did you find anything? I got a pamphlet. Seven steps closer to God. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe it'll help. like a mausoleum. Mm, means we're on the right track, right? Jonah, I feel something. We're getting close. Let's look around for signs of Lopez. A heron and an eclipse. These notes were written by the founder of the Sector 7. They're talking about funds allocated for renovations to the library.
under his wings we may seek refuge. Under his wings. The sun will be darkened, and the moon will not give its light. Jonah, those two Bible quotes. The sun will be darkened, and under his wings you may seek refuge. What does it mean? That's it. Look for a heron and an eclipse. There's a whole mural under here. Jesus takes up the cross. These are just stations of the cross. But there's a bunch missing. Before 1600, there were only seven. This could date back to the time of Lopez. This is one of his clues. Yeah, it's the kind of thing he does. All right. Let's see if we can find a cross lying around here somewhere. We'll find a way. Found something? Yeah. Jesus takes up the cross. Help me lift this. a long way down. Let's see where this leads. Two. Jesus falls the first time. There's an inscription here. Adulate dum lucem habitis. Walk while you have the light. That did it. I wouldn't want to be buried in here. My head tossed behind a cross somewhere. Walk while you have the light, so that the darkness may not overtake you. Sounds like a hint. Or a threat. This looks like the Virgin Mary. Station 3. Jesus meets his mother. The mirror looks dusty. I'll give you a boost.
light leads this way. <sighs> what happened to these people? It looks like the light activated something. Laura! Are you all right? You're lucky it was a little rusted. <sighs> this must be Station 4. Yeah. Let's have a look at these frascos. These people look like they were tortured. Hung up in the ceiling. I don't think this was just a crypt. I'll get it. Is that what I think it is? The station's at the cross again. But with mummies, isn't this sacrilegious? Not necessarily. They could have been paying the ultimate homage. Or they were just sick. This must be Station 6. <laughs> Looks like a church. These ones are closed by monks. Uh-huh. Strange there are only seven stations. This must be based on an older tradition. Jesus takes up the cross, falls the first time, meets his mother. Then Veronica wipes his face before he falls the second time. Then he is crucified and finally entombed. So Lopez staged the whole crucifixion with mummies? She's wiping his Seems face, I think. I think this was a place of worship for an underground sect. Literally. I guess this is the sect from the pamphlet. Mm -hmm. Ugh, this is disgusting. I'm glad I wasn't alive. Don't let Lopez get in your head. He's caused enough trouble already. He's carrying the cross. I think he's taking up the cross. Jesus nailed to the cross. disciple wall him in and then bang no witnesses
the hands of the Righteous One may seize destiny from mine. I guess it's you then. He led us on this goose chase. He sabotaged every clue. All to keep this box from Trinity? And the people of Paititi. He was totally consumed by it. Where is she? I don't know. I just need the box. Fuck you! Well, I guess we're done here. Release him, and I will give you the box. Lara, what are you doing? I've lost enough people. <laughs> I know you have. Your father was brilliant. He was taken from me before I could know. He was my friend, but he was obsessed, relentless. You didn't know him. He refused to see the potential for destruction in his work. He had to be stopped. You had him killed. He was going to lead the public to Paititi. Everything I love, everything I fought for. My world would have been destroyed. And what about my world? You can't think it's the same. It is to a nine-year-old girl. I was a child. There was too much at stake. An entire civilization, hundreds of years of independence, thousands of lives. I had no choice. There's always a choice. It's not too late. You can honor Unaratu and restore the sun.
No. The threat must be removed. You're a low, selfish, murdering coward. And you, Lara? How many lives have you ended? Hmm? In pursuit of what? Lara! Go! Stop him! Hell. Oh. 